Hello and welcome to this video on All Smart Repair. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to repair the display of an A14 2023. I will use an original service part from Samsung. I will link it down in the description so you can buy it. You can also use the video for other A models from this year, that's no problem. For the repair, I'm using my 13 ones set for repairing smartphones and tablets. You have here the 6-in-1 screwdriver with 6 bits, as well as a scalp, a pry tool, a plectrum, a tweezer and many other stuff to successfully repair your smartphone. Also we have a SIM card a tool to take out the SIM card. So the first step is to take out the SIM card slot with the micro SD and the SIM card. When we have removed the SIM card slot, we take our metal pry tool, place it on the right side of the display and try to get between the display and the plastic frame. It's not easy, so you have to, yeah, try some more times and then take the plectrum and place it between there so it won't close alone. Also you need some force to open this device. It's not easy I have to say. It's one of the models that is very strongly clipped so yeah take your time and do it nicely. And with the black room you can easily lift the last clips if you are once inside the device and it's getting easier. So now when you have unclipped you can open the device and you can see one flex cable that's for the buttons. Uh, be, be careful because we don't want to damage it. To remove it, we have to remove the screws. We can now take our 6-in-1 screwdriver and remove the screws. For this model, all the screws are the same. So you don't need to worry about long screwing. I will place the screws on the magnet mat you can also buy in the store. To be a little bit faster, I will use my big screwdriver. It's an electric screwdriver that also has a torque and it's way easier and faster to unscrew all of the screws. If you do it like me all day, all night, you need some tool of that. I will also link it in the description so you can buy it and I can fully recommend it for people that are using no, that are repairing every day and every night like me because it's taking much work. When you unscrewed everything, you can take the pry tool and take out the plastic bag and also remove the power button flex from the main board. Then we can unplug the battery and the other flex cables that are connected to the main board. <coughs> Next step, we can unscrew the bottom screws that are holding the speaker piece. Therefore, I will again use my big screwdriver. When we have unscrewed every screw, we take our scalp, place it on the left side of the speaker and yeah, gently push up the speaker. And we also can see the daughter board with a charging port on it. And yeah, we have to remove this as well for sure. And there you can see the flex cable from the LCD um, that's connected to the charging port. And it's also connected to the display 
and coming up to the main board with this main flex that is going up. I already disconnected the antenna so we can pry out the charging port. Please be gentle here so you don't damage the charging port and then we can take it out. In the next step we now can remove the selfie camera and then we pry out the motherboard in the left corner where the speakers and can take out the motherboard. Be, be careful, don't touch uh, anything directly on the board. You can, yeah, you can damage the main board and this should not be happen. I will compare now to the original new display. Uh, we have to take some parts from the old display like the ear speaker and the vibration motor as well as the battery. <coughs> For the vibration motor, the glue was intact, so I don't need to replace it. And then I take the scalp and try to remove the ear speaker. Be very careful here, so the ear speaker is not disassembling itself, like getting into two pieces. This can happen very easily. To remove the battery we have AB, we pull up the A stickers and then we take the B sticker to pry out the battery. It's a very cool system that Q of A is using for years already and Samsung yeah, was very slow so yeah but now they got the solution as well and you don't need to heat up the battery and remove it with isopropanol. You also can try to reuse the sticker. It's very cool. Um, just try to put back the A and B stickers so you can reuse it when you, yeah, maybe crack the display again at some time or need to replace the battery because it's broken. Now we take the new display, remove the adhesive stickers and then we can Put back the battery into the new display. Be careful with the flex cable, don't bend it over. And the next step we now can take the motherboard and put it back into the new display. Now we can put back the selfie camera. Reconnect the flex cable from the charging port and the LCD. And the next step we take the charging port, replace it into the display, push it down, gently push it down. And then we can also reconnect the flex cable to the charging port, daughter board, however you want to call it, and align the antenna cable back into the plastic frame. The antenna needs to be reconnected to the charging port as well, center it and then push. As you can see, it takes me some time, so take your time as well to reinstall the antenna cable. And after that, we can take the speaker 
and place it at the bottom. It needs to click and when it have clicked, it should be perfectly. In the next step, we can reconnect the battery to the motherboard. And now we can start putting back the screws into the bottom. There we'll use my big screwdriver as, as well. Uh, with the gear, you can hear it. It perfectly tightens the screws. You can also do it with a 6-in-1 screwdriver, but it takes more time and that's why I'm using it because it's way more easier when you do it all day, all night to just use those electric screwdrivers. They are perfectly. So on the bottom we have finished reinstalling the batteries. Now we need to reconnect the power button to the motherboard. And that's the reason why I first started to reinstall the bottom part so I can place the back cover above the charging port, the, the bottom with the speaker. Now we can replace the upper plastic cover with the camera glass inside and everything. This needs to be screwed back as well. Take the big or 6-in-1 screwdriver and screw back all screws. To reinstall the display into the frame, we push the upper part into the upper part of the plastic frame until it clicks and then we push down at the bottom. Check all sides if the frame is aligning perfectly to the display and if it's the case, you have successfully repaired your Galaxy A14 or other A model from this year. You can then take the SIM card slot and put it back inside. If you liked the video, please leave a subscription, thumbs up, comment. You can ask me anything in the comments if you, yeah, feel free to ask. If you do want to do the repair on your own, just ask me as well. Have a nice day and see you.